Good morning and welcome to Our Issues Milwaukee. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. Our focus today is on the Milwaukee County Board of Supervisors. The board is made up of 18 legislative representatives who are elected to four-year terms on a nonpartisan ballot in the spring of a presidential election year. One of the major responsibilities of the board is to adopt the annual county budget. And my first guest was elected in April of 2013 to represent District 2. Supervisor Khalif Rainey, how are you? I'm doing well. Thank and I you. should say welcome back to the show. Indeed. Uh, you were here last year, I believe, and we were talking about voting then. And here we are, voting is still uh, a huge conversation, especially in the state of Wisconsin when it comes to voter ID. We've gone back and forth quite a bit with this voter ID, but it is set in place for the spring primary. People are going to need that ID, and you have already introduced legislation to help make that process easy. Absolutely. Uh, myself and many others in our community, we see this voter ID uh, being imposed on us as a barrier uh, to what our right is, and that's the right to vote. Mm -hmm. um, so as a Milwaukee County Supervisor, I authored an amendment to uh, have MCTS, the Milwaukee County Transportation Services, uh, design a plan to get residents to the DMV free of charge to get the necessary identification to participate fully in the upcoming 2016 election. Okay, and uh, with that, people will be uh, asked to show acceptable photo IDs that can be a Wisconsin driver's license, a Wisconsin ID card, military ID, or a U.S. passport. And uh, with this whole scenario, um, people will be able to go to the DMV and with the proper paperwork and get this done. You would recommend they get this done now and not wait until it's time to cast their vote, right? Absolutely. You know, we have a bit of time ahead of us. So it's a great idea to go ahead and knock it out. Mm -hmm. You know, let's not wait to the last moment where we're scrambling to participate in democracy. Uh, let's make sure that we're prepared uh, to cast our ballot come April. Uh, there it is. And Supervisor Rainey, last month you actually called on uh, Milwaukee County Executive Chris Abley to create an office on African American affairs. And that is really what brought you here today because we do want the viewers to know more about this and uh, your concept uh, of how it will work for the people. Tell us more. Absolutely. Well, um, we have this, the shameful distinction here in Wisconsin of being uh, designated as the absolute worst place in America for African American man, woman, or child to live. Mm -hmm. whatever, the whatever the metric is, be it education, um, unemployment, incarceration, uh, small business creation, uh, Wisconsin, uh, we are the absolute worst. And for some of us, that's just a statistic, but uh, for many of us, that's a reality that we wake up to every single day and we live that. And with that being said, I thought it was time for a deliberate, concerted, concentrated effort by government to step up and make an effort to reverse these roles, reverse these numbers. And I authored legislation to create the Office on African American Affairs as an office that's designed to develop strategy, uh, to advocate on policy, to pursue grants, uh, to be a hub, to be an incubator, a conduit to change in our community. and. Uh, begin the first steps to reverse these these terrible uh, statistics that have put us in this position. Yeah, I think it's a great idea and uh, reason being because in doing this show, of course, we focus a lot on the issues and all of the issues that we talk about go back to unemployment, poverty, people not being able to get a job at all because of their uh, criminal record, whatever the case may be. So in your opinion and with you authoring this, uh, how do you see it working to reduce inequality and most of all segregation here in the city of Milwaukee? Indeed. Uh, you know, the interesting thing about the Milwaukee County Board creating such an office on African American Affairs we represent, you know, 18 municipalities. Mm -hmm. So we have Cudahy, Franklin, you know, we have Greenfield, we have, uh, you know, many of those suburban uh, communities within Milwaukee County. And that's where the segregation exists. And I actually uh, had a conversation recently uh, with a developer who's interested in the housing aspect of that office just for that particular issue. So 
you know, we, we're, we're prepared to begin that process. I think first and foremost, what's most important is now that we've declared that this is a problem and government should have a role in addressing it. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to working with uh, County Executive Chris Abley. You know, we are the policy makers here at Milwaukee County. Milwaukee County Board of Supervisors, we make the policy. Mm -hmm. The County Executive, he now has the onus to fully implement the policy to make sure it's effective. So through the, through the budget process, I have uh, allocated $300,000 to the office and seed money. I've spoke with the County Executive and he's committed to uh, finding 300,000 additional more dollars to make sure that the office has everything it needs to get started. Um, I have obtained a grant writer and I'm looking right now to find leadership for the office. Okay. You know, uh, determine exactly you know, who will be willing and who will be able to push this initiative through. Yeah, it's definitely going to be uh, a grassroots um, uh, approach because this has never been done, but uh, with the, the the positive outlook on something like this. You already have Milwaukee Alderman Willie Wade who's drafting a resolution to start a similar initiative at the city level and then State Representative Leon Young and State Senator Lena Taylor intend to introduce um, companion bills to create a state level bill. So uh, how will we see these um, work on the from the city, uh, county and state levels? Well, I thought it was important that I went to recruit uh, Representative Leon Young, Alderman Willie, Willie Way, because um, the citizens of Madison, the citizens of Beloit, mm -hmm. uh, Racine, southeastern Wisconsin, southeastern Wisconsin, we have the largest concentration of African Americans in the state of Wisconsin. So they may have protections within Milwaukee County, within the city of Milwaukee, but I thought it was necessary with Wisconsin having this distinction that we had an office at the state level as well. So I'm excited about Leon Young, uh, State Senator Lena, Lena Taylor chapping this initiative. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm working with Willie Wade on a regular basis to make sure that the city of Milwaukee also provides these provisions for the African American people of the city. Yeah. Uh, with all of this said, uh, you also have an African American stimulus package uh, that's going to help put uh, some funds where they're much needed. Indeed, well, we, we all are aware that our cultural institutions here in Milwaukee, be it the Black Holocaust Museum, be it African World Festival, mm -hmm. Hansberry Sands, Kothi, uh, they've been suffering. So we thought it was necessary that as Milwaukee County, we gave them a shot in the arm. So Supervisor Martin Weddle and myself, we authored the African American Stimulus Package, uh, which is a million dollars and uh, taxpayer dollars going towards those institutions. Uh, what we believe is that uh, those, those institutions cannot thrive if um, our community is not thriving. Mm -hmm. If we have 50% unemployment, then how do we anticipate those institutions to survive? So through land sale process, uh, that uh, fund will be developed and at some point we'll begin to issue RFPs to cultural institutions to try to get them back on their feet. Okay, that's. I think it's wonderful news, and the good part about us being able to sit down and have this conversation is uh, the fact that you guys have your sessions, and there's so much that happens in a day in the world of a politician. Some of the things kind of slip through the cracks, and everything doesn't get reported on to the people. So all these good things are in place and with the best intentions, but if people don't know about them, they certainly can't utilize them. So I think that your idea with the Office on African American Affairs is extraordinary, and then I think it's a breath of fresh share uh, hearing about this African-American stimulus package. Is there anything else that you want to inform our viewers at home about? Sure. Well, I, I would like to mention that the Office on African-American Affairs, um, it has been done before within government. Mm -hmm. um, Washington, D.C. has an Office on African-American Affairs within the mayor's office, and the state of New Mexico has an Office on African-American Affairs. Really? So I looked at those as models, and I looked at other commissions from around the country to the design this legislation. Mm -hmm. um, another thing I'm excited about is not too long ago I created a voter registration program at Milwaukee County mm -hmm. where residents you can come into many of the uh, sites at Milwaukee County and you can get registered to vote. We have staff that is now deputized. Um, but most importantly uh, this upcoming election we will now be sending out text alerts 
So if you subscribe or if you are within Milwaukee County uh, alert system, you will receive a notification that, hey, tomorrow is an election. And I think that's important and uh, it's part of my, uh, my mantra to carry on, you know, um, the, the right to vote and making sure that uh, our constituents and our residents are fully aware and prepared to participate. Yeah, and it's so important when you utilize technology to really drive home whatever your agenda may be. So you're very passionate about people uh, getting out and letting their voice be heard. And so uh, in this day and age, you've had people, a lot of people, even my mom, Texas. So, right, exactly. <laughs> so uh, that reminder never hurts because even on election day, people sometimes uh, get caught up in their day-to-day activities right. and then you know you look up and it's like oh yeah. you know they forgot but Indeed. you're gonna with this it's that extra reminder. We're gonna take the extra step and make sure that you know you are aware that hey tomorrow is an election mm -hmm. and I, I think that's good service on behalf of Milwaukee County I think it's necessary and I'm looking forward to that database growing I hope everyone subscribes. And tell us uh, how do we subscribe to get something like that? Well it's yet to be fully developed we're mm -hmm. working with e emergency services there in Milwaukee County they currently do send out alerts um, if, for example, a dangerous weather is on arrival, you, you may receive an alert. Mm -hmm. So we're working with them to develop a plan how we can get all that information out before the election. But by election day, uh, the notification system will be up and running. Okay, and you'll have to come back and tell us when it's up wait. and running Indeed. and how everybody can take advantage of that and all of the other things that you have worked hard to put in place to, like I said, uh, the voting process should not be hard, Indeed. but uh, you certainly are making it easier for individuals who may have transportation issues and also people who uh, really want to vote and don't have that ID. We're going to make sure they get the message on how to get that done. Absolutely. All right, well, I thank you. You, as Thank always you. for coming by and sharing with us a uh, business that is happening within the Milwaukee County Board of Supervisors Absolutely. and you're always welcome to come back and uh, keep us abreast of Thank what's taking much. place. It's always a pleasure. Milwaukee County Supervisor Khalif Rainey represents the second district and for more information on anything that we've discussed you can call 414-278-4222 or log on to county.milwaukee Gov. When we return to Our Issues Milwaukee, we'll continue our focus on Milwaukee County. We'll find out more about a newly elected county supervisor who actually represents the 10th District. We'll meet Supervisor Supreme Moore Amakunde right after this.